The effects of the stone golem's death were drastic for the people of the Shek. After a few days of riding and infighting amongst their people, the end result sent the majority of their warriors heading straight to the Holy Plains, the very home of their sworn enemies, the Holy Nation, in a last ditch effort to cause as much damage to them as possible. Most of these warriors did not bring food or medicine, as they did not expect to return alive. The once prosperous holy lands had fallen directly into chaos. All of the fighting brought the attention of the Fogmen, who came in droves to feast on the weak and the corpses of the fallen. The world was beginning to fall apart, directly because of the actions of the duo. And soon, 
the holy nation would be next to fall. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. I'm actually sleeping. Oh shit, I can't. <laughs> that looks pretty comfortable. Can I sleep in that one? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look out, I'm coming.
With both High Inquisitors slain in the same day, soon Lean Bean would siege the Holy Nation capital in an attempt to take the Phoenix. The Messiah and leader of the Holy Nation, and the 62nd of a long line of prosperous rulers, would soon come to an abrupt close.
Agents of darkness be purged. Goodness, homie was straight up chilling outside. Holy crap. Phoenix murdered and put to rest. Soon the slaughtered farmsteads and towns would be cleaned of their religious status and their survivors to be put to work in the United Cities, where crops were once tended by prayer and faith, were now tended by slaves and their masters. This was the way of the United Cities. Much like many great nations, 
built up by the exploited, with the many serving the few. But in the end, it will be the couple that destroy them all. Oh, my God. 